Hello YouTube, Dave back again. Today I'm going to make a nice lasagna and it's going to be sim free. So I'll get straight onto the ingredients and we've got some lean minced beef, some bacon that I've pre trimmed and cut most of the fat off, the bits I can get to. For our veggies, we've got a bit of a mix. We've got um, one of the long red uh, peppers, this slightly sweeter than the bell ones quite nice, a handful of tomatoes, a handful of mushrooms, a red chilli just to spice things up for winter and we've got a nice Spanish onion and we've got half a block of jumbo garlic. Along with that we've got two tins of tomato, chopped tomatoes, two packs of passata, and don't, don't waste money on the expensive passata. Sieve tomatoes are sieve tomatoes, and uh, basically, you can get this, these ones for about 20 pence, and the more expensive ones for about 50, and there is literally no difference. You'd struggle to tell the difference, really. And then finally, some egg lasagna. Um, and for a little bit of extra spice, I've got some mixed herbs, some coarse black pepper and some reduced sodium salt and the plan is to fry the mince onion garlic and chilli then pop in the mushrooms and then pop in the rest of the veg chopped up and then finally once that's all browned off put it all in a pan with uh, a saucepan with um, the tomatoes and passata and for a nice easy sin free lasagna um, I, to keep it sin free I basically don't use um, a white sauce, the bechamel sauce so basically it is just I make more of make sure I've put plenty of tomato in and then on the top I'll just sprinkle my healthy A of cheese so I normally make four portions of lasagna so four days worth of cheese and uh, that'll be a nice meal um, and you can serve that with either a salad or if you like some um, Slimming World chips or a jacket potato or boiled potatoes um, and yeah nice salad and uh, really nice dish one of my favourites right, okay. everything's nicely chopped now, my bacon there I've opened the tomatoes and passata up ready got some nice chopped onion and chopped crushed garlic all chopped up with a little bit of mixed herbs on. Um, I've got my mushrooms and chilies in this one and my tomatoes and pepper in, in that pan in that bowl and then I've just I've removed the um, backing off the mince and just um, cut it through a little bit just so it's nice and loose and Right, straight into the saucepan, I'm going to add the tomatoes. Add those in there. Right, so two tins of tomatoes. And then we'll add our two jars of passata. And that'll be a lot of tomato sauce. <laughs> Just how I like it. <laughs> Just add the other one. This making so much because basically you, you're making up for the fact that there's no white sauce because you want that pasta to cook through in this sauce. Um, and straight into there, I'm going to put the peppers and the tomato, the other proper tomatoes with the mixed herbs. Right, and into that pan, I'm just going to add some pepper. Ooh, a little bit much there. Tiny bit of salt just to taste, not much because we've got the bacon as well. And some Worcester sauce. Just a little bit, not too much. Oh, and I will add a little bit of balsamic vinegar. Find it. There we are. Should have prepared that at the start, shouldn't I? There we go. So I'll just add a little bit of that in. This is going to be our basic sauce. Um, my plan is now to fry the onions, 
with the mushrooms, chilli and meat and the bacon um, and then we'll add that to the pan. So I'll get frying, just um, cook those in a, a fry lighted pan just to get, again keep the fat content really really low. Okay, and I've got the um, minced beef and ba smoked bacon in, with, in the fry lighted pan along with the chopped onions and the garlic. So I'm just going to let that brown through. Once that starts to turn a golden brown I'll throw in the uh, the veggies that I want to fry, so the mushroom, the chilli and the mixed herbs. And then once that's done, I'm going to put it all in the, in the pan and make basically a bolognese sauce to make, to make the uh, lasagna with. Okay. We have some our meat and meat, onions and bacon are cooked through now and it's thin. So I'm just going to add in the mushrooms, chili and garlic. Sorry, mixed herbs. And um, while you're away, I was frying off the meat. And just to show you, while it was frying off, I drained off with this, bearing in mind this is lean mince, all of this fat. That's a good amount of fat there. All that's extra calories you don't really want, and it's no good for your heart as well. So I've drained all that off. So bear that in mind, if you, especially if you haven't used lean mince. That, mine was lean and it had all that. So yeah, just try and drain all that out. So obviously that's having extra calories and points that you don't want. When we, we can make this just as nice and it's sin free if you're on the swimming world like myself. Um, I need to bounce back next week because um, Mrs Jennings and <laughs> Nikki has uh, had a fabulous week. She lost two and a half pounds this week whereas I stayed the same. Um, I can't really say what it was because um, I was super good but I think I've just lost Hit a bit of a plateau at the moment. I got my seven and a half stone award uh, the week before, so that was nice. Um, and I've lost that in 15 months now. I'm hoping that I might get the eight stone one for Christmas. I might, might be struggling now because I've just got a month to uh, lose seven pounds, but um, it should come in January, hopefully. The uh, eight stone award. And then it only two two stones to go until I'm at my goal. So not long now, hopefully. Shouldn't take too long. Should be there for summer. So I'll keep plodding along with that. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna cut this through and come back to you once we're ready to make the sauce. Right, the uh, as you can see the meat's all cooked through along with the onions and veggies. Um, so I'm going to add this into our saucepan of tomato sauce that we've made and then simmer that for around half an hour. Okay. Right and our meats have all been added to the veggies in the nice sauce and that's now simmering away. And already it looks just like a bolognese. Um, I just like to simmer it through so the garlic and chilli really flavour the dish and the peppers and onions all soften up. Um, but as, as the lasagna will be going in the oven for half an hour later on as well, just reduce that down until you're happy with it. it varies on taste. Some people like the crunchiness of the veg, so they might not want to do it as long. Um, it doesn't really matter because it's getting cooked again later on anyway. But um, I'll simmer that through and then show you uh, the fun part of making the lasagna up. <laughs> okay. Right, welcome back YouTube. Um, my um, pan is just ready there and I've um, pre-fry lighted it just so the lasagna sheets don't stick to the sides or bottom. And I'm now going to add the sauce. So in goes that and we'll put a nice deep layer of initial one. Like so. and we're just filling this tray up, we don't want any gaps and we want it nice and deep so every mouthful gets a good taste of the sauce along with the meat and veg. Um, I've pre-weighed out um, 
two portion two of my healthy A's for cheese. So although there's four portions here, I've only allowed two portions of cheese, so two of my healthy A's. So with I'm using half fat cheddar, the solo um variety, so um so with that you're allowed um forty two grams in a healthy A. So I've used two days worth of healthy A. So that it's just nice, it leaves me half a portion of cheese a day if I want it. Um if you if you thought oh, I want to use all my allowance you could weigh out 160 but I just thought that was too much and more than I'd normally have anyway. So right, and then you just so we've got a nice deep layer there. I'm just adding the lasagna sheets, press those down so the sauce soaks in. So you might get a dry bit which you don't want. I'm just layer those like that. Just carefully layer those. Depends on your dish on how many you're getting. Looks like this one's made for four. <laughs> Press those down. Just make sure it's all getting wet. There. Right. And then we'll add our next layer. Really make sure that it's all covered up. Some sheets. You can use the white or the green, the verde um, sheets. I prefer the white, but some people are. I've always found it difficult with the fresh, it tends to curl up. Um, so I do prefer the dry, strangely, whereas with spaghetti, I prefer the fresh, which is a bit of a strange one. In there, and we'll just use the eight sheets. And I've saved a little bit of sauce for the top just because we're not using the white sauce. So, again, on the top, and just a thin layer of sauce and meat there, just so all those sheets are getting wet so they cook through. You don't want any dry bits because it won't go nice. <laughs> I've had this a few times now. I thought it might be a bit weird without the white sauce, but really it's just not. It's just virtually identical. You really don't notice. Um, so you've got rid of those extra, extra calories and flour that, you know, all add calories and um, to the dish that you don't want, and you've got rid of it. Right, here's our our cheese. So I'm just going to add that on. It's not loads of cheese, but at least to get a flavour of it in every mouthful. And carefully spreading it around, just so it's nicely spread out amongst the dish. And there we have it. Sin free lasagna. Now later on I'm going to put that in the oven and I'll show you the finished dish. But that is totally sin free. And I'll think you that if you make that you won't you won't be disappointed, believe me. The bacon adds a lovely smokiness and a, a really garlicky tasty dish. Okay, hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening, bye. And here and here's the finished dish I'm just about to tuck into. Thanks.